Logitech released the G915 last year in Q3, their first RGB mechanical wireless low profile keyboard. What's up guys, my name is Chinook and I've been using the Logitech G915 for almost a whole year now. And I have to say, this is probably my most favorite keyboard yet. This is the full size variant of the keyboard, with Logitech releasing a 10 keyless version about a couple months back. Video on that soon. Aesthetically, the keyboard is actually really nice. Metal top plate, rounded edges, very, very rigid. It's not gonna break anytime soon. Build quality on this is absolutely amazing. Keyboard is 22 millimeters thin, with the base coming in almost as thin as my phone. In terms of switches, we get Logitech's brand new GL low profile switches, and they come in three flavors. You get clicky, you got tactile, and you got linear. Keyboard also has two step elevation at four and eight degrees. You have two ways of connecting to this keyboard. You have light speed using the 2.4 gigahertz dongle, taking advantage of that low latency response time. You also have Bluetooth, which allows you to connect to your phone, iPad, tablet, or even your laptop. Next to those buttons, you'll have the game mode button, which disables the Windows keys, along with any other keys that you end up setting in the program to disable. Next to that, you'll have the brightness key, which allows you to adjust the brightness of the keyboard on the fly. You also have macro recording. You have three profiles along with the macro recording key. And then there's also five G keys that you can assign to do whatever you want by using the software. On the right side of the keyboard, right above the number pad, you have your multimedia keys, which include a forward and back key along with a play pause, a mute option, and a volume bar scroll wheel. Now with this being a wireless mechanical keyboard, battery life is something that really needs to be considered and Logitech has you covered. At full brightness, you have 30 hours of battery life. At 0% brightness, you have 1200 hours of use. I keep mine between 35 and 40% and have to charge it maybe about every one and a half, two weeks. It's absolutely great. Charging is actually very simple. You use a micro USB cable. Kind of wish USB-C was implemented into this, but it is what it is. Now the keyboard variant I have is the clicky switches. So let's go ahead and let's do a typing test, see how these sound. Comparatively to other clicky type keyboards like Razer Greens or even Cherry MX Blue switches, these are actually really quiet for being clicky. You still have that discernible click, but it's not a very loud, very obnoxious click. It's actually really nice. I actually enjoy using this keyboard as much as I hate clicky keyboards. Normally, I'd go with a tactile version just because clickies are pretty obnoxious and annoying, but I'm actually liking the clicky variant of this keyboard. Some gripes I have about the keyboard would be the sharp corners. Playing games like Valorant or any type of FPS game where I need to be rapidly moving my arm or my mouse, I have hit my hand on the corners of this keyboard multiple, multiple times. So if you have this keyboard, just be careful. You might just sever your thumb. Another thing I don't really like is the software. I have had a lot of times where I get logged out. All of my macro recordings are gone. Also, if you try and disable the G keys, the next time you turn on your computer, they get re-enabled and they don't get disabled. So I always end up fat fingering them and my pages refresh or something weird happens and I have no idea why, mainly because the G keys got re-enabled. But you can fix that with the software update. Another thing that, this one's a little bit of a nitpick, but the volume wheel scroll bar has no tactility to it. So you don't really know how much you're adjusting the volume until you look at the Windows volume indicator. But I have to say, this is actually probably my perfect keyboard. It's wireless making cable management a dream. That's one less cable I have to manage. With the fact that it's also wireless, you also get Bluetooth connectivity, allows me to connect to both my MacBook and my iPad. 
Also with how low profile it is, it mimics the keyboard on both my iPad and my Mac, mainly because those are the two machines I use the most. I'm used to their keyboard. Going to something more bulkier like the Asus ROG Claymore that I used to have, I was a really, really slow typer. Going to this keyboard, I've actually improved my typing just because it has a very similar feel. Would I recommend this keyboard? It's kind of hard to, mainly because the price of the keyboard is $250. But if you're someone who's looking for a keyboard that is thin, has a reliable and very fast wireless connectivity, also has Bluetooth to connect to multiple devices, and is wireless with a long lasting battery, this is literally your perfect keyboard. No one else in the space has a keyboard like this. None of the other brands have come out with one that rivals this keyboard. If you want to grab it, I'll leave a link down below to an Amazon link. If you have more questions on this keyboard, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Links down in the description below. You'll also find links to my socials. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. While you're down there, also hit that like button for that YouTube algorithm. If you don't like the video, that other button works too, I guess. While you're there, also subscribe to the channel. Don't miss any more content from me. And with that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.